Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Financial Future. Today, we're delving into some eye-opening news a whopping 21% increase and its impact on your wallet. Intrigued? Let's dive right in. So lately, we've been hit with some significant reports shedding light on why many of us are feeling the pinch financially. Over the past few years, let's be honest, for most of us, it hasn't been smooth sailing financially. We've seen a lot of ups and downs in our bank accounts, right? Well, this 21% increase I'm about to discuss might offer some insight into that. Before we jump into the details, though, can I ask a huge favor? If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. I'm here every day, keeping you in the loop with research, headlines, and insights tailored to help you navigate your financial journey. Plus, it's free, so why not join the Financial Future community? All right, let's tackle this 21% surge. It's impacting everyone, regardless of income level. Surprisingly, even those earning six figures a year are feeling the strain. It's not what you'd expect, right? But the reality is, financial struggles know no income bracket. Now, let's talk numbers. Food prices have skyrocketed by 21% over the last three years. That's a hefty increase, especially considering the typical annual inflation rate for food is around 2%. So, what's driving this surge? Well, it's not just about the price tags, it's also about what you're getting for your money. Ever heard of shrinkflation? It's when the size or quantity of a product decreases while the price stays the same or even goes up. Sneaky, right? That's not factored into that 21%, making the situation even more challenging. Inflation isn't playing favorites either. Even basics like eggs are getting pricier, with a 4.6% increase just last month. And while some items like cereal, apples, and tomatoes saw a slight decrease, they're still far from cheap eats. But here's the kicker. While some prices are going down, others are soaring. Rent, for example, is up by 5.7% year over year, hitting hard at a time when many are already struggling to make ends meet. And let's not forget about car insurance premiums, which shot up by a jaw-dropping 22% in just one year. I can relate. I recently had my own insurance renewal shock. My premiums nearly doubled without any clear explanation. It's a reality check that hits close to home. Even for those bringing in six figures, living paycheck to paycheck is a harsh reality for 45% of them. It's a stark reminder that financial security isn't guaranteed, regardless of income. So, what's the bottom line? Well, while airline ticket prices may have dipped, it's small consolation when essentials keep getting pricier. The struggle is real, folks. I'm here to keep you informed, to shed light on the issues affecting your financial well-being. This isn't something you'll likely hear on your local news, but it's essential information nonetheless. Today, we're diving into some fantastic news for seniors and college students' SNAP benefits. $500 grants, and much more. Strap in, because you're in for a treat. All right, let's get into it. Have you heard about SNAP benefits for college students? It's a game changer. In Washington State, students from families receiving SNAP benefits now qualify for free college tuition. Thanks to House Bill 2214, Students enrolled in the SNAP program can attend college tuition free starting in the 2025 2026 school year. Talk about leveling the playing field. But that's not all over in Kentucky. Eastern Kentucky University is now accepting SNAP benefits as a payment option. This means students without a meal plan can shop for groceries on campus, making college life a little easier. It's all about accessibility and convenience. Now, let's talk about those $500 grants in Chicago. 
low-income families with students with disabilities can apply for a one-time $500 grant, thanks to pandemic relief funds. It's a lifeline for families facing financial challenges, and the application process is straightforward. If you're eligible, don't hesitate to apply. It could make a world of difference. And for our seniors out there, Portage County in Ohio is offering a range of services through its Healthy Aging Grant Program. From case management to transportation assistance, they're here to support seniors in their community. If you're a senior living in Portage County, be sure to check out these valuable resources. But wait, there's more. In Pennsylvania, efforts are underway to increase the minimum SNAP benefit for seniors and individuals with disabilities. Governor Shapiro has proposed boosting the minimum benefit to $35 per month, a step in the right direction towards ensuring access to nutritious food for all. And let's not forget about the Senior Farmers Market Program, providing $50 in vouchers to eligible seniors to use at local farmers markets. It's a fantastic way to support local farmers while accessing fresh, healthy produce. Lastly, if you're in California, don't miss out on the Guaranteed Income Program in Fresno County. Applications are still open, but they're closing soon, so be sure to apply before May 15 for a chance to receive $500 per month for a year. Alright, folks, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you found this information helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from Financial Future. And as always, remember to stay savvy, stay informed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.